Hi, welcome pilots, friends and followers to this channel X-Flight Deck. By the way, I'm Etron and I am the X-Plane Dude. We are now on my web page uh, on xflightdeck.com and today's tutorial is about the Agent Folder XP. Uh, first of all, what is Agent Folder XP? What does this software do? Well, if we head over to add-ons on my web page and we scroll down a little bit, we come to the first add-on that is free. Everything on my web page is free and you can do the installation easy from here. Well, AirPoint environment is improvement of your air field, your air ground, airport. You will get, like you can see in this picture, more beautiful things that will improve the sim. My main goal is to create a better sim for you to make it in the most easier way there is and for you to do it by yourself. What you need is this file to upgrade your X-Plane. You will find that on my Google Drive and you will find it on the original page where we are heading over right now. If you don't have already an, an account here you need to create an, an account in a few steps and you will get a mail and you can log in and then you can get this button here download this file but back to the agent folder XP the agent folder XP will do the job for you it will do the installation so instead of you doing doing all this by yourself all this the agent will do for you. It will do the installation, put the right files into the right folder, into the right files. So it mainly an easy tool, just drag and drop and that's all to it. But let's head over back to the web page and do the installation first of all. And then we can see how it works. To get and find the file you need, you can click here and it would bring you down to the bottom of the, this website. And what you need is to read this. We are going through the three different ways to do the installation. If you have, uh, if you have not installed Dropit before or the agent, this is the step you do. If you already have Dropit and the agent, then you do this. If you have your own pro project, Dropit with your own settings, scripts, and other things. You must not run these two, only the profile. I'm coming back to that later. You will find the files on my Google Drive in Agent Folder. And I already done this, installed every one of them. So they are ready here on my computer. So I'm in my download section now and I go into the Agent Folder. The first thing you have to do if this is the first time you do the installation is you have to install this file first. I prefer English so it's just click OK and do next, next. Don't change anything, just let it be in C drive. Drop it is the name, create an icon on the desktop and let it do the job. Don't launch it, not necessary, not working before you have run this one. You run this one and it's just the same, next, next, next. You have to agree to what I told you just now, that this is the right file. And one thing, be sure of that. Don't install this if it's not coming from my Google Drive, from my web page or from me personally. Then it contains maybe a virus or something. So only install it when you know it's from a safe search. All right, just click next, next, next. Don't do anything. Just let it be just the way it is. And it's now finished. We have now got a new icon on the desktop called Drop It. If we run this with a double click, you have now the shield and the agent folder is already. And it's version 10. So now it's ready to use. But how do we use it? Well, let's go back. This will stay on top of your window. And let's go back to download. And I already put in some add-ons here. But before that, I want to go back to the web page. 
and let's go to the top and go to add-ons. This will still be on top of the window, so you can use it when it's ready. Okay, I want to improve my X-Plane. I want to install Airport Environment. So I'm going to download that file. And as I told you, I can do that from my Google Drive. The only thing you need is to have a Google account. Then you will find all the files and you can download it from there. You can also go to the original page and download it from there. And so we're going to take down this file. I already done that, so I'm not going to do that again. And we're going to take down the library. So we're going to have more improvement of the airport with more beautiful planes, more beautiful cars and everything. So I'm also going to download that file. So you can click, go to the original and you can click download and it would start and it would take some time to download. But I already done that so let's just head into add-ons and you will find, sorry, you will find those two files I'm talking about reason I wanted to take down two files is that there is a little bit difference between the files. If we go back to my web page, you will see that, uh, if we go up again, you will see that uh, this file is approved and tested with the agent folder. And this file has a little yellow star. That means that this file contains more than one file and you have to drag this file two times in here. I will show you just in a moment. This file doesn't have anything. That means you drag it only one time. And this file is also approved. So look for this to see if you can use it with the agent folder. Okay, let's go back. So let's start with this file. We drag it and we drag it to the blue side, not to the white side. Drag it so you see you have a plus icon there and you can drop it. A new window appear and it says the files, it says what it want to do, it want to extract and it want to extract it directly into X-Plane. So the only thing we can do now is we can start or we can stop. So let's start, run it and that's how it works. So drop it is the en engine of this and it will do the job. The agent is the script that knows what to do. Okay? That's all. When the windows close, you have now installed Mr. X library into Xplain. If we do the same with this file, and remember this file had a star, so you, if you see now, it will not say anything about Xplain but it will ex extract for you. So yes, we're going to do that. And that's really important. Always use the agent folder to extract file if you're going to use it in Xplain. So we now have four new folders and that's the reason why agent folder created this because it doesn't know and it has nothing to do this name is not recognized with the explain, but the folder inside is recognized. So what I can do is I can drag it and drop it. And now you see it recognized it and it will do the installation. And that I will do with the next one. And the installation is done. And I will do it with a library and it's done. And I can also drag this if you have a version 1.35 or later. The version out there now is 11.41. There is a beta out there. I never recommend that you use a beta version only for testing. And that's also what I do when I do installation of this. I always have an X-Plane where I test everything. My original X-Plane is here. When I'm satisfied and I see that it's, oh, that was cool. This is what I want. I change this and I do the installation once again. And that's a, a good tip how to have control. So I can delete this. I don't need it. If you try to drag a read file into it, it will say ignore. 
because it doesn't belong in explain so you can delete that also so what we have now done is we have installed environment and mr x library let's just go over to explain and look how beautiful it has become uh, the agent folder is still with us uh, we can exit that out right click and exit out or you can double click it and it also will uh, go down here somewhere there it is yeah so the air feel is now much more realistic we have more black hair and there is a lot of more things going on here it's annoying sound in the background let me take that a little bit down can I do that yeah uh, all right so there is a lot more going on here we have more trucks so yeah we have now upgraded the explain something is wrong here uh, but yeah it looks more realistic something is moving around here and it's look more cooler so uh, that's uh, how the sim is now and it's look better already all the add-ons on the web page is of course free and you will find the original files or you will find everything in Google Drive okay well uh, let's just uh, close it down and do the next step and that is if you already have installed uh, drop it and you already have a version of agent folder you don't need to run this you need to run the upgrade the upgrade will fix the bugs and it will do an upgrade and change some settings so this is the one you have to run so let's just run that one also and as always click next 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 and nothing else and now it's installed okay I have drag it down here so I can start it up again and you will see that you have version 10 well the last thing I wanted to do I just changed the icon now because there are people out there already using drop it they use it maybe to to move files into pictures into videos they just drag and drop and it will sort the files out from them if you already have that and you don't want to mess up your settings you should not run the upgrade or the agent folder you need to upgrade it with only a profile so what you're going to do then is you're going to do the installation of the profile accept everything like I've done all the way and just click next 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 when you now start up it will have the correct settings but if you don't see the agent starting up maybe it's starting up with this icon the only thing you have to do is to change the profile when you change the profile you can use it to explain you can go back to your default or whatever settings you have if you have any settings and you can exit it out if you want that okay that's how and that's the three important things we have been talking about and that's the three files and that's what's standing here this is what you have to do okay two more things somebody say to me but I have explain on another drive okay no problem you can still use the agent but how well I show you let's just start the agent what you have to do is you have to take the add-ons so I copy that into my X drive where I have my X play and pa pa passed it on here and you do the installation from your X and therefore it will recognize X drive okay so it's just the same but the installation file has to be on the same drive as explain that's the key okay and there is nothing more to it one more thing and that is backup I always recommend that you take a backup as I just told you 
I have a backup of my original and the one I play around with and if I mess up everything there is also one more chance and that inside or first time you did the installation you got the installer from Xplane. When you run that you can up, update and it will check every bit of the files you have been installing and you can click continue and you can know overwrite everything so if you want to have it back to how it looked the first time you open explain you just overwrite everything you can do this for every files then it will do it automatic wow that is that's it folks that's how you use agent folder xp and it's so easy enjoy it and stay tuned i see you next time and bye bye take care especially in this time okay see you